We don't often receive visitors. I am Emir. Welcome to Manus Meta. It is a pleasure to have you. In lands so forsaken as these, chance encounters are precious indeed. Seeing that we have convened here on this day, allow me to mark the occasion with a modest offering. The map I gave you charts the site of a hallowed ruin. It is said that after sounding the hanging bell there, one's fate will be guided by the stars. I only wish to be of service, to help those who fight for their purpose. I'm not mistaken, am I? I can see it in your eyes. You are a fighter, are you not? Is something the matter? I've given you a map to the hallowed ruin. Oh, I suppose you expect a lesson of me, do you? I know the feeling. Those with purpose are nothing if not ravenous. For power. For truth. I am a glintstone sorcerer. We study the stars and examine the life therein. Are you familiar with our findings? Long ago, we began as stardust, born of a great rupture far across the skies. We too are children of the greater will. Is that not divine? Is that not sublime? And yet, none can fathom its implications. Its utter brilliance. Oh yes, do mind your feet around the church. You wouldn't want to hurt the little boy. I have no interest in small talk. My only concerns are the concerns of Count Emir, and you are not among them. Only, there is one thing I will say. Count Emir's kindness is a gift. Should you cross him, you will sorely regret it. Be gone. There is nothing more to say. Be gone. There is nothing more to say. There you are. The exalted timbre of the bell has reached these ears of mine. Gracious, the starry sky is wondrous tonight indeed. Only your fate shines brighter. Now, these are for you. Think nothing of it. I have made my decision to be of help. May the gleaming stars guide you evermore. Ah, you met Yulan. Well, I hope that she behaved at least. 
The poor girl has overcome grave misfortune. Her tongue can be sharp at the best of times, but don't think that makes her a bad person. <laughs> it's no surprise her little sister too has a heart of gold. I fear that you have borne witness to the whole of it. The conceits, the hypocrisy of the world built upon the Earth Tree. The follies of men. Their bitter suffering. Is there no hope for redemption? The answer, sadly, is clear. There never was any hope. They were each of them defective. Unhinged from the start. Marika herself. And the fingers that guided her. And this is what troubles me. No matter our efforts, if the roots are rotten, then we have little recourse. Ever young Mikola saw things for what they were. He knew that his bloodline was tainted, his roots mired in madness. A tragedy if ever there was one. That he would feel compelled to renounce everything. When the blame lay squarely with the mother. May the gleaming stars guide you evermore. How did you... Did Count Ymir reward you with that? Hmm. Then I see you have gained his trust. And therefore mine. I am Yolan. The knight is yours now to wield. Don't get the wrong idea. We are neither friends nor confidants. I am merely honoring Count Emir's wishes. Enough of you.
<laughs> Hello there. I heard another sound, colored by your essence. <laughs> Simply exhilarating, I must say. The stars are dark tonight. But rest assured, this is no ill omen. On the contrary, I believe that this portends a magnificent starry cascade. Now, take this. My final gift to you. May you join the glimmering stars above. Oh yes. I believe I can feel it brewing. This evening is a sign of a greater night to come. Do you recall what I said? That Marika and the fingers that guided her were unsound from the start. Well, the truth lies deeper still. It is their mother who is damaged and unhinged. The fingers are but unripe children. Victims in their own right. We all need a mother, do we not? A new mother. A true mother who will not give birth to further malady. May you join the glimmering stars above. I told you once, I've no interest in companionship. But I must admit, Count Emir did seem very pleased. Perhaps an exception is in order. Emir is a shining star, in our eyes. The only star upon the black canvas of the night. Our meeting with the Count taught us of the star-draped sky. We know that we cannot reach out to touch it, but we can peer up at its brilliance and heed its guidance. We will never again lose our way in the night. I have spoken far too freely. Pay me no mind. Let us focus on our shared purpose, our service to Count Emir. Now, be on your way.
What have you done? You've wounded Count Emil most irreparably. Such that he was and I attend to the Count's concerns. Mother. As if our night simply never was. 